Welcome back to this video and today we're going to be ranking Teenage Dream by Katy Perry and we are doing this now because before 143 comes out I kind of want to talk about some better a better like output of her music before I tear that album to shreds because that's probably what I'm going to end up doing judging by how Lifetime's Wombs Word was so I just want to do this video so I can prove that I actually like her music so I don't just seem like a hater and I got a very stupid comment on like my Wombs World video they're like oh you're just jealous of another woman's success and I'm just like we're not even in the same field like objectively I'm, I'm not a songwriter I'm not a singer I'm not a pop star I'm just a writer so and I just enjoy music so I don't know how like it's like saying that I'm jealous of LeBron James even though I don't do basketball which is crazy anyway so we're going to be ranking all of Teenage Dream. I am not ranking the remixes because I don't do remixes. That's just not my thing. Anyway, let's just get into it with, before we even get into this song, we need to get into the tiers here because I had to make different tiers in my Taylor videos because obviously different artists. So the top one is Teenage Dream, which is self-explanatory. Next, so hypnotizing, that's the love tier. Wide awake and loving it. I struggled very hard, very hard. It took me like five minutes to create like this tier name. It's still not very good, but we're gonna roll with it. And then Hot and Cold. There is no bad song on this album. There's just one song that I'm just a little eh. Otherwise, it's a perfect album. And the track run, I mean, the first four songs, Teenage Dream, Friday, Last Friday Night, California Girls, and Firework. I mean, talk about an amazing track run. Next, so let's just get into the first one, which is Teenage Dream, which obviously has to go into the tier that it was named after. I mean, talk about an iconic song. Talk about an iconic pop song. This has what I feel like Women's World and Lifetimes are missing is one, a bridge. Every single song on here, to my knowledge, if I'm wrong, I could be wrong about that, has a very catchy bridge. Teenage Dream is one of them. And I mean, she just sounds like she wants to be here and it actually feels real. It feels like you're experiencing a teenage type of love while listening to this song. And I mean, come on. What else can I say that hasn't already been said? One of the best title tracks that I've ever seen across any album so far. So we're just gonna move on to Last Friday Night, which I'm gonna put this one. Ooh. Okay, it is a very fun song. And honestly, this song is something that I listened to since I was very young, which is crazy. Like, no wonder why nobody wanted to be my friend because I was literally like singing this song at the park. We talk about menage trois and going out drinking and shrieking. Like, I had no business doing that as a kid. I'm gonna put it into Wide Awake and Loving It because yeah. Actually no, it's going in so hypnotizing because even though it's objectively just a song for shits and giggles, it's actually pretty fun. And it's very fun to sing along to dance to just be like, oh, last Friday night. And then the bridge. The bridge perfectly like builds up to the last chorus where it's like the massive like Friday night. And I mean, come on. Amazing song. That's all I have to say. Next is what's that? The California girl. So I mean <laughs> this is like it's very hard to describe this album because literally almost every single song is like perfect pop formula, which is very catchy verses, very nice bridge, amazing chorus that is memorable, and then like amazing singing, which is exactly what California Girls is. But what I really like about this is the feature because when you look at it, you're like, Katy Perry and Snoop Dogg, what the fuck? But then when you listen to it, you're like, oh, okay, he committed to the bit. And they both committed to the bit. And the lead-in to the chorus is probably one of my favorite lead-ins on this album. I mean, it's, it's just so fun. It's just so fun. That's all I have to say. I'm only going to put in Wide Awake and Loving It because like, it's not something that I listen to all, all the time. But it's still a very, very good song. Next is Firework. And I mean, talk about an iconic song from childhood. I literally have known this song since I was like six years old, which is crazy. I mean, Teenage Dream was well out by then. That was like 2012, but I just discovered it then because like, I was very young. But this has been a song in my childhood for, I've heard this song maybe like thousands of times. It is like, you belong to me. It's like hot and cold. It is just a song that never gets old. 
Ooh, that rhymed. Not me doing Dr. Seuss rhymes on the video. But anyway, I mean, it's very motivating. I, I guess going through in middle school where everybody has a tough time in middle school, just hearing something like this or like me and my Taylor Swift where they're uplifting songs in a nice way. And I mean, I didn't sing this song for like the third grade talent show. It wasn't very good. And I was the backup singer. But I've been very passionate about this song for very long. And it still holds a very special place in my heart for that reason. It is very nostalgic. So it is going into Teenage Dream as well. Next we have the track five, which Taylor's track fives are usually like very emotional. And then we get to this, and it's fucking Peacock. Now, <laughs> I heard this song when I was younger. And I was like, okay, I didn't really like the the like intro where it's just like da 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 because I thought it was pretty annoying but then once I got past and I listened to it like a few times in a row like and now I have never had such an out of body experience listening to a song that I knew so many years ago and haven't heard it in a very long time and then heard it now this gave me such an out of body experience I have not replicated in a very long time when I was listening to this a few weeks ago when I was prepping for this video because some of this I just haven't listened to in a long time. This, I like, barely listened to. And then I just listened to it and I'm just like, oh my fucking god. <laughs> this is, this is wild. And I mean, the whole premise of the song is like, wild. Like, it's a little bit I wanted to see a man's car. And then, it's just so funny. <laughs> like, the chorus, I can't even, I'm not reading the lyrics because, no. But I'll just put them here, like, who gave her the permission to do this? This is so silly. And the fact that her daughter sings this song, that's hilarious. She is going to have her mother's humor for sure. And then we get to the bridge, where the bridge is just so funny. Where it's like, oh my god, literally all of us been worth the wind. You like rock the world, you have the finest architecture. I'm just like, oh my god, this feels like this feels like an intrusive thought that I was not supposed to be like around. I wasn't supposed to hear. This should have been kept in the vault. But I can't even lie, it is so catchy and so fun and it is so nice to sing along to and it's just such a good song. It's so silly, but it's it's like last Friday night. It's so silly, but yet it's such a good song and now I just can't stop listening to it. So it is going into so hypnotizing. Next, we have Circle the Drain. Now this song, I feel like this song is like not talked about enough. It is about dealing with a partner who has like a drug addiction. You're just sitting down here and you're just like, I didn't sign up for all of this. I only signed up to love you. I didn't sign up to deal with this, this, being your mother, being all of this. And I just like the production of this song too. Like it has such good production. And we have to stand. It is going into Teenage Dream because it is one of my favorites on this album. It is so underrated in her discography. I don't know why people don't listen to it more. I don't see anybody talking about it. Like, do I have to start Circle the Dream fan come club? I think I do. Next we have the one that got away. The song, the song for all those ships that didn't go anywhere, the song for those moments in your life where you, two people were like very connected but then some one thing happened and now you're just like, in another life, we would have been together and all of it would have worked out. Yes, of course, I have one, everybody has one of these people in your life. And I mean, it's just so heartbreaking, <laughs> especially if you related to like a death or something. It is so heartbreaking, so beautiful. The lyrical content is amazing. I love a version of it where it's just rain and then it's like very slowed down because you really get the feeling, but the original version of the song also is amazing. The music video, the music video, I mean, come on. This song is a classic for a reason. It is a perfect song and I will not hear any, anything. Talk about meaningful lyrics. In another life, I would be your girl. We would keep our promises, be us against the world. I should have told you what you meant to me, and now I paid the price. Where is this fucking stuff substance in women's world and in lifetimes? There, it's not there. That's why I judge it so harshly, because when I look at something like this, and then I hear women's world, I'm just like, what happened here? Anyway, we're talking about good food right now. And that is very good food. It is going into Teenage Dream. One of my favorite songs of hers and one of the best pop songs, in my opinion. It is amazing. Next is E.T. I mean, also going into Teenage Dream. It feels like a lot of these are going into Teenage Dream. I mean, it just, it just has to go there. And E.T. is one of those songs where 
you don't think you're gonna like it on the first like beauty trap. You're just like, okay, this is just a mediocre pop song. But then it gets into it and you're just like, oh, you're so hypnotizing. This is also a song that I had no busy, no business fucking singing at the park at like eight years old. This and Last Friday Night are why I don't have, I didn't have any friends when I was growing up. Because I was just singing these mature songs about wanting to be abducted and kiss me and take me and wanting to be a victim and all this shit. And you know, this song actually does feel extraterrestrial. Even though it took me years until I can say that word, it does feel like that. And I love this song. Like there is not enough, not enough good things that I can say about this song. It is amazing and it is, it is a cult classic for a reason. Everybody loves this song for a reason. It is great. Next we're gonna get to Who Am I Living For? Now the thing is, I love the chorus and I love the bridge of this but I do not like the verses as much, which is why this is probably one of the only ones that are going into hot and cold because it's like, I like certain parts, I don't like certain parts, but it's still not bad by any means. It's nowhere near lifetime's bad. <laughs> like, it's still a good song, but it's just not my favorite on the album. Next, we have an undiscovered supermodel, which is Pearl. This is about a girl basically losing like her like, her oomph because of a piece of shit dude and I mean the whole meaning behind this song and the songwriting and the way it goes from oh you and you and then it turns back to personal like oh I'm not gonna do this this is it reminds me of like White Horse for Taylor Swift it reminds me of those type of songs and I I just can't say it. this is like god tier this is honestly one of my favorites in her discography for that reason only it is such a powerful song, and yeah, don't let piece of shit dudes like tear you down. Cause have you have they have you looked and have you seen them really? They are usually the greasiest scumbags. Moving on to Hummingbird Harpy. Now I don't really understand this song. I mean, it's catchy, it's fun. I would probably put it into Wide Awake and Loving It, but I don't understand like what Hummingbird Harpy is. Like it talks about, oh, and I get the taste of your honey. So that's cum. I know that's cum. This is, this is turning into a very weird video. That's cum. But like, what is a har hundred heartbeat then? The orgasm? Oh, probably is. Who gave her the right to do this? Like I knew that Peacock was dirty, but I, when I went, went to listen to Humming for Heartbeat again, I was like, okay, this is, this is. Then I'm like, oh. Taste of your honey, and then now I guess I just figured out what it really means. Okay, then it's still a good song, but like, who gave her who gave any of us the business as kids to be singing these songs? Like, it is crazy. Like, Peacock, E.T., Hummingbird Heartbeat. Like, who last Friday night, who gave us the who gave us the okay? Because every I everybody that I know that was born between like 2004 to like 2000 eight, nine maybe, we grew up as kids listening to this shit. And that's probably why we're all so insane. I think I figured it out. Thank you, Katy Perry, for causing my therapy. Um, next is not like the movies. This reminds me of if this was a movie by Taylor Swift. And I mean, we have to stand. We have to stand comparing light, love and life for li real life and in the movies because it is different but then also it doesn't really have to be there is a point where it can cross and i think that's what the song does get at a little bit in the bridge but i like it i'm putting it into wide awake and love it now part of me this song this was a bonus track this this is not on the original version of teenage dream this is a bonus track it's not on the regular album from what i saw on spotify i could be wrong but it is not but it is so good. It's like that, it's like Firework. It perfectly fits with Firework and it fits with Mean by Taylor Swift. How when people fuck around with you and do all these things, they're just being rude because they have nothing else to do. And they can't take away the integral part of who you are. They they just can't suppress your light, like your Firework, how you shine. And I love this. It is going into so hypnotizing because of that reason. Now, Wide Awake, this is a song where I'm kind of iffy about because I really, really, really love the bridge and I love the choruses, but I'm not sure about the verses as much. 
but also like I don't hate it like it's not like a what who am I living for where I just don't like the verses like I like them but like they're not my favorite verses so I'm gonna put it into wide awake and loving it and then dressing up which is the next the last song on our ranking this is just a fun song you just talk about getting dressed up to go have sex that's what I got from it maybe I'm wrong but that's what I got from the song and it's very it's great and I love it, and I am putting it into, well, I like it, I don't love it, it's not my favorite, which is why it's probably gonna go into hot and cold as well. But yeah, that's my ranking of Teenage Dream. I can praise her songwriting, I can praise her, cause she, her pen was penning on this album. Pen was penning, producers were producing, singer was singing, like it. This album is truly one of the best albums of the most recent decade. Uh, not the most recent, of the most recent century. It is one of the defining moments of my childhood. Like this in 1989 were probably the albums that I mostly rinsed and repeat as a child. There, these songs have grown up with me just as much as Taylor songs are. That's why Katie is always gonna be my set, one of my favorites. No matter what happens, I still have faith in her because she could make music like this. She could make such great music. Like these songs are so, so good. And the whole album like is front to back, banger after banger after banger, after great song after, I mean, just look at the track run. Look at the track run, Teenage Dream, not Last Friday Night, California Girls, Firework. Name a more iconic track run than probably the Taylor Swift track run. Like they are all iconic. All of these songs are iconic, amazing, brilliant, and this is the reason why I hold out hope for her to this day, and I am praying that 143 praise proves me wrong. But yeah, thank you for watching the video. See you next time. Let's just have more content like this, and yeah, I'll see you next time, and bye.